What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Nerdy Mark channel. I am Sid the Nerdy Mark. Welcome back to my uh, review, I guess, of my social media detox uh, for the month of March. I don't know if it's a review. I don't know if to call it a, um, a journal entry here. I don't know if it's a vlog. I don't. I still don't know what exactly this series is anymore. Regardless, I'm excited. I'm back and looking forward to tell you guys what I, how I was feeling throughout the week. But uh, before we get into that, yes, I know that the beard is gone. Um, I, I wanted to shave it so that and I want to grow it back again because I wanted it to like grow in some other places, but like I didn't want it to have like patches of hair where it was a little smaller and patches of hair where it was like full grown. I wanted to kind of keep it, you know, about all uniform, if that makes sense. So I decided to shave it off and we're gonna start over again. So hopefully by April, I'll have a full grown beard once again. But with that being said, uh, let me tell you guys this one quick update. I actually, after I downloaded my apps this week again, um, I actually did not download Facebook again. The only reason I do have a Facebook account at all is for Messenger. And that's really what I use more than anything. I don't even use Facebook that much anymore. So I just decided not to install it again. Frankly, I don't I don't regret it. I feel good. Um, but anyway, uh, so with that being said, let's kind of get into it. So starting on Monday, my meditation was really good this week, um, throughout the week. And you know, Monday was really good. And I definitely looked forward to this week of, not, of no social media. Every week kind of feels like I'm doing it for the first time, to be honest with you. Um, and this week was no different. And I did feel, there was a little bit of uneasiness in me. Like my, my heart, my ch chest was feeling a little heavy, um, but I didn't give it too much attention. Um, I think it was just, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe just a sense of, just I felt a kind of over, uh, an overwhelming sensation in my, in my chest. I, I didn't know what it was, but um, it, it was it, it went away with time so it's fine um, I did happen to look at my phone a lot um, kind of hoping to look at social media because it still kind of had to register in my brain that oh wait you don't have your apps this week um, but I was really looking forward and I was still really excited about it so th that was there um, I did get to do some freelance work this on Monday and speaking of which I actually do have a Fiverr account now. Um, so if you need any sort of, I actually am specifically focusing right now on content writing, on blogs and stuff. So if you want to, you know, maybe hire me for, for some stuff like that, definitely check the link in the description. I am gonna, I, I will be more than happy to help you with your project, whatever you may need. I promise to write good copy for you. And uh, you know, I know you will, you will benefit from it. So. But if you're interested, click the link below. I did feel a little less agitated on Monday. I uh, just definitely didn't feel like, you know, just I, didn't, I wasn't super stressed out like I sometimes am. Uh, felt optimistic about the rest of the week. Um, I also did a kickboxing workout on Monday and actually it was a little easier than usual. Just a little bit, not too much. Um, I still felt like really out of breath after doing it, obviously, because it's basically like kickboxing and like, you know, hit cardio all mixed in the same mixed together so it, it was a very very intense workout so um i i thought it was great though i thought it was really good then i had to get used to the freedom of no social media i was like oh shoot i have no social media i have a lot more time in my hands and uh i actually don't look at this as a challenge anymore and i am almost feels uh, pretty much feels liberating being off of socials but as a content creator you know i have to promote use it to promote my videos so you know i, I get it but on tuesday though i did check my phone a lot and i uh, did feel a little bit new deleting all my apps um but you know i still felt more light-hearted about it and i felt a lot better um just felt a lot lighter on, on Tuesday. I had a job interview where I felt like I did communicate my ideas much better than I usually have. And I think it's a combination of my meditating very consistently, along with the fact that I wasn't having any apps on my phone, like social media apps on my phone. I actually got the time to watch some wrestling matches with Tim. I wanted to go back and watch some old, old Bret Hart matches actually, um, because if you don't know, one of Tim's favorite wrestlers of all time is Bret the Hitman Hart. So I watched Bret Hart versus Mr. Perfect at SummerSlam where Bret won the Intercontinental title off of 
uh, Mr. Perfect, and Bret Hart versus Steve Austin in WrestleMania 13 with the infamous double turn. Speaking of pro wrestling, rest in peace to Scott Hall. I didn't get a chance to do a video or anything like that, obviously, last week when he passed away. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna do it here. Rest in peace, and my, my thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends. I definitely got a lot of recruiter calls throughout the week, and sometimes I would get a little agitated, but I, do, I actually was a lot more patient when they called me, so that was there. Um, I also did feel really tired yesterday. I think it was also because of the weather. Um, it's just been really cloudy, and we actually got some rain today in Texas. I actually got to work out at a proper time today, and uh, looked forward to my meditations this uh, on Tuesday. Uh, I realized that I was drinking a lot more water. I actually drank a lot more water and less caffeinated beverages because I was drinking four servings of caffeine. Uh, I was drinking two cups of coffee and two energy drinks every day. And I was able to bring that down to half. So one cup of coffee, black. I actually started drinking black coffee now. And also, uh, finally, one energy drink. That's it, that's all I have. That's my only caffeine throughout the day. I mean, if you wanna count chai as caffeine, you can, but and so I guess three servings, but still a lot less than what I was drinking before. And I think I felt really good. And I, my voice actually when I talked was a lot uh, quieter. Um, I wasn't, you know, I, cause sometimes I naturally do have like a higher octave of speaking, but I felt, you know, my voice kind of, just my general normal voice talking like this was a lot quieter. Like I know for YouTube, other YouTube videos, I talk a little louder cause I gotta, you know, be all excited and stuff. But this is how I normally talk folks. This is the real me, this is how I talk. Uh, moving on to Wednesday, I was, Wednesday was really, really tough. Um, I had some, ex I, had, I was extremely restless and had a lot of withdrawals um, from not watching social media. Uh, so much so that actually, um, uh, you know, I wanted to make a mental health Monday video about this, but I never got to, so I guess I'll talk about it here. But for the past few years, I have been battling addiction. Um, it's not drugs or alcohol or any of that. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't want to talk about what it is, um, but I have been battling addiction for a while. And, um, you know, the one week where I thought I wouldn't relapse, I did. I felt terrible, man. But, um, you know, and that was another, actually also it was another reason why I wanted to do this was to help curb my addiction a lot too. Um, but you know, this week I just, I just succumbed to it and I, I, and I slipped. Um, and uh, you know, but but I, I did meditate on Wednesday and it was actually extremely deep. Uh, I almost just, I was just kind of like gone, man. Like I was conscious, but I was just, you know, I just didn't want to open my eyes for the longest time and it felt really good. Um, but after my workout, I did have a post-workout meal for the first time in a very long time. It was a protein shake. And then I took three boiled eggs and I took out the, I cut them in half, I took out the yolks and I kind of uh, crushed them with my fork, put a little salt, pepper and red pepper flakes. And then in the egg whites, cause they have the little hole in them where the yolks used to be. I filled it up with salsa and I ate them and it was really good and i really encourage y'all to try that it was it's it's one of the ways you can get me to eat boiled eggs i'm not a big fan of boiled eggs but i'll eat it like that for sure and I, again still didn't drink as much coffee so that was good while meditating though i do feel like i got some answers that i was looking for which was great um and i was really looking forward to going out of town this week um very much so so that was there and uh you know i helped my mom with some audio editing uh with uh because she actually has a concert coming up in april so uh, i was helping her with that then on uh and that's kind of what all i did on wednesday then on thursday uh i woke up feeling my heart was thumping and usually when i get stressed this happens obviously um i'm not gonna lie i had some trouble focusing this week definitely started drinking more water uh, again, which was great, but unfortunately, I did end up, uh, you know, relapsing again to my addiction, and um, that was there. And honestly, I'm, I was kind of thinking about getting some help for this, but the thing is, I thought it was kind of like a free thing, but um, the thing is, I have to pay some money for it, and that kind of sucks. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to go to a maybe a, so do some group therapy. I don't know, man. But anyway. Uh, I honestly also thought about doing another week of detox. So maybe sometime 
I might do a, maybe not this month, maybe next month or the month after. I might do two social media, two weeks of social media. Detail. Who knows? Um, you know, I decided that when I download my apps again, I will actually have them off my screen. And iPhone has a thing called remove from home screen on it. So I have to do that. I, I do still have to do it. So, you know, this video is kind of a reminder that I have to do it. So anyway, uh, that's there. So that was Thursday. So moving on to Friday, I was traveling on this day and uh, I felt my focus like just come back tenfold somehow. Um, and I was pretty occupied throughout the day because, you know, obviously I was doing a lot of volunteer work and um, I had to I had to be there. Um, you know, it was like a, it was like a lot of, like a session, like a pretty long session that I had to, you know, be there and, you know, you know, make sure kind of, I was basically security, but not really security. But you know what I mean? Um, you know, just kind of helping everyone get seated, everybody getting in the line, you know, making sure everyone was, you know, coming in and coming out in an orderly fashion, things of that nature. But I was very, very uh, busy with that. Um, I got to meet some old friends that I haven't seen for two whole years um, because of this pandemic. And, um, you know, there are a couple of friends that I do have here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, you know, they definitely do talk to me a little bit differently than they talk to each other. Um, I'll just say that, you know, they felt, it, it, they, I do sometimes feel left out by them. Um, and, you know, I've tried to talk to them about this, but like, oh, no, we're not trying to exclude you, whatever. But I don't know, man, I just, I do feel, like the fly on the wall many times when I'm around them. That's honestly why, you know, we're not talking like we used to anymore. Um, it's it's unfortunate. And if they are watching this, you know, hi, you know, that's just how I really feel. And I'm sorry if you take offense to that, but that is just how I feel. But I wasn't super affected by it like I used to be, uh, but it still did affect me, um, but not to the, the intense effect that it usually had. Um, so that was there, but uh, you know, moving on to the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I did have a little trouble focusing, but it was, well, I was okay. I was definitely on my, I, and I was actually on my feet all day, but I wasn't nearly as tired. So um, that was a good thing. And I did do some meditation on Saturday, but I think I could have found a quieter place to do it. I guess I was just trying to experiment and see how it would be because like, you know, when, while we were waiting for everyone to get seated, they do play like really loud music. But I decided, you know, let me sit down, close my eyes, still focus on the breath and, and you know, do whatever I have to do while I meditate as the music is going on, just to see if I can do it. And, you know, I did, I did it for a little bit, so it was cool, but I think I'm gonna find a quieter place to do it next time though. Um, I definitely had, uh, you know, and I actually was able to meet, a, like I said, I was able to meet a lot of the people I haven't met in two years and I felt very grateful um, that I was able to meet certain people and I actually expressed it to them and they were very happy and, and, and it was great, you know, spreading the, spreading the positivity around, which is always awesome. Then going on to Sunday, I had a very peaceful meditation. Uh, I did it in my hotel room this time, go figure. And you know, we were traveling back home and on the plane, I was able to sleep like intermittently, but I was listening to a couple of podcasts uh, while we were flying. Um, I actually am um, talking to someone now and we talked for almost two hours and felt really good afterwards. Um, I've talked to others before and you know, I, I felt okay, but this one, I don't know, just felt a little bit different. Um, definitely felt some peace of mind and didn't get nearly as agitated as I used to this whole week. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, there was a little bit of, you know, um, roadblocks here and there, a little bit of ups and downs throughout the week. I guess it was a little bit more interesting than the last couple of weeks where everything was just all just going up. Um, so there's that. So, I mean, as you can see, even if you should, should you decide to do this, you know, not everything is, you know, gonna be a bowl of cherries, right? It's gonna be, it's still gonna be, there's still gonna be days where it's gonna be hard. And um, I really felt that, but I really am looking forward to seeing what April has to offer. And, uh, you know, we will go from there. So um, I will have this dropping. I'll have a Nerdy Mark news show this week. And next week will be my fantasy booking video. 
and a mental health Monday. So be on the lookout for all those things. But I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and thank you so much for um, being patient with me and you know for all those people who are supporting me on this journey. Um, this is more just for my mental health and um, I feel like if I do this and I put it out on camera and, and, and you know put it out on YouTube it also holds me kind of accountable to somebody and there's like 310 of you now um, that I have to be accountable to. So there's that, right? Um, but with that being said, uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode of the Social Media Detox video. Um, I will see you guys uh, probably later this week when I talk about uh, some news in the world, in the wacky world of wrestling and nerd culture. But until then, this is Sid signing off. You guys take care. Bye-bye.